Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Ultimate Animal Age of Sail. So we're going to uh, continue with the battles, we've finished all of the tutorials. Not that they were particularly difficult, but you know, it's fine to do them. We're going to do battles from left to right, we've done uh, Spanish Golden Inconveniences, we have five more. Fireworks, Filthy Smugglers, Acting Captain, Snakes and Smoke Powder, and Bunker Hill. So we're going to do fireworks. We're steering to meet our main squadron forces with two trophy brigs, but it's a cannonade ahead. Looks like this day will become a hot one. So we're going to do that little battle. We're going to have victory. Or we are going to win. Hopefully. Knowing me, maybe not. So we're going to do the battles, but a little birdie tells me that there will be some campaign content out soon, TM. So we'll be a lookout for that as well. We're going to focus on the campaign as soon as that comes out. So let's see, that's the same text, we're against the Spanish, we're the British. Let's start the battle. So, after Richmond captains regained consciousness, he ordered you to rendezvous with the main fleet. While sailing, you capture two Spanish transports carrying army supplies. The prize money from these would be a huge bonus to your lieutenant's sal lieutenant's salary. At the sound of cannon fire, you order the captured transport to take, a seaward, take to seaward and fall behind you. Right after eight bells was ringed, an action ensued. A frigate from our squadron, the sturdy HMS Romulus, is being persuaded by the Spanish Spaniard vanguard, with the line of battle behind. Ooh, some big boys. It's two of our 60, 64 gunners, pinned to the coast by the wind versus three Spanish ships of the line. Bad odds, sir. Indeed. We should use our prices as fire ships against the enemy line ships. This could change the whole battle if we succeed. Will a midship clear decks for action? How would we even... Oh! That's new. To me. Oh, we have no control over those. Um, let's do a hard port. Let's have that those group up. There's been some updates since uh, my last naval battle. So we can't control those. We can only control the Richmond, which has 12 pounders. Yeah, that's disappointing, but understandable. Oh, they're sailing close hold. That's going to be tricky. We're going to have them sail full speed ahead. Let's focus on their front. Ah, we have control of the Romulus now. The Romulus just needs to stay s strong, I guess. Let's try have the Romulus cut through the line here. While these gents are going to try and hook up with the ships of the line. This is... I think that's 364 gunners. Yeah. 3 versus 2 64 gunners. Those aren't great odds, but uh, we can make it work. Uh, you are on full sail. Missing the foremast means it is rather slow, but... What can we do about that? Let's sail a bit more uh, beam reach to get better speed. Let's have you focus the stern. Come on, sail faster. Um, let's have you cut sails. We're gonna cross the stern of this guy as well. Uh, didn't we tell you to cut sails? Whatever. You keep on sailing this direction. Oh, you only have 12 crew. Let's go a bit slower so that we can shoot the guns. Hard to port. Come on. 
Oh, that's what I'm talking about. That's not so set full speed. Uh, you keep full speed because you're slow. Uh, stern on the... Oh, this is a 28 gun. So it's... Ah. That's good info. So if... We don't have control over these guys, but if we... Hmm, looks like we have to have a ship selected to get the information. Um, lower the sails a bit to get a gun. Or your guns on there. Let's have you do the same. Come on. Let's have you uh, go for the jibe. Very good shooting, full sail. You do the same. And we're gonna try to keep uh, focus on the San Silvester. Because she is the biggest ship, she is a 40 gun uh, ship. While the San Fernando is a 28 gunner. Yes. I've got a couple of shots off. Oh, okay. More than a couple. Let's make sure to be a bit uh, windward to get to these guys. Um, let's go ahead for the Fernando because easy target right now. Uh, let's have you slow down. Let uh, HMS Richmond go first. Yeah, the San Silvestre is a bit on the... Ooh. That's not what I wanted, but okay. Oh, I should have set, set it to sail full speed ahead. Okay, okay, that's a mistake. But that's fine. Let's get in this lovely stern rake uh, on San Fernando. Oh! Well, that makes things easier for us. That's one less frigate to worry about. What guns does this have? Also 12 pounders. Cool. Ooh, the Pemberg and the Dunkirk aren't doing uh, all too well. Especially the Pemberg, getting stern rate right there. We're doing well in this little uh, skirmish over here, but... These transport ships need to hurry the hell up. Okay, let's slow you down to have less effect on the wind so that you can pop in some shots, hopefully. Come on, you should be able to shoot uh, the San Silvester. So, incinerate. We basically... I don't know how this works, actually. I'm guessing we need to... Uh, slow the enemy down enough. So that we are basically in a boarding action, maybe? I got no clue, actually. Well, there's one way to find out. This is where it's uh, make or break, I guess. Let's get your guns to bear. And I wonder how close I need to be to for this to be effective.
fire ship tactics are kind of insane if you ask me. Literally just set ablaze your ship. Uh, I know that in like the Anglo Dutch wars, what they do is they like go into a boarding mode and then uh, set the ship on fire while they were like hooked onto each other. Ah, I have control of these ships. Excellent. Uh, let's have the Santa Teresa just move away for a bit. Don't want to get... Oh, the Argante probably too busy. Will the fire spread from the Celosa? Argante was definitely not too busy. Well... She blew. Oh, right. Uh, these guys. How are you doing? Uh, let's see. Hard to port. You go hard to starboard. Ah, the San Pedro is on fire. Uh, let's see if we can uh, go for attack. Come on, survive. I want to send this guy into the Santa Ana. Ah, the San Pedro's fire went out. Let's set some more sails. No. Uh, there we go. Set him ablaze. I'm saying this is a bit of a gamble if this doesn't go well. Also, the, is the Argante... It looks like the Arga Argante is uh, putting out the flyers, fires. There's a lot of smoke, but... I don't see any flames. Come on. Set the Santa Ana ablaze. Preferably in multiple places. The entire bow section of the Santa Ana is basically ablaze. Um, hopefully there is no shallows. Oh, basically the whole of Santa Ana is ablaze. The Arrogante is going to uh, survive this. The water pump is broken. Oh, look at that fire. Oh, 68. Oops, uh, wrong button. Although the Santa Ana does not look pretty. The fire looks pretty, but Santa Ana is in some bad... is in a bad place. Some wrong long range shooting there. I accidentally put it in slower mode. Oops. Ooh. That even starts a bit. Uh, so that's. Ah, that's the port side. That's weak. Let's sail a bit close hold. See if we can get to the stern of. to the other side of those guys. Let's see. Set you full sail ahead. You're going to turn a bit to port. Um, ceasefire, you're hitting uh, Romulus. Uh, 
Well, at least one fire ship did its job. The Arugantus survived, sadly. But oh well. At least I know for next time how uh, the fire ships work. Um, set stern. Let's just put the side to. Let's just set him to shoot the side. These frigates will join the main match as soon as uh, they can. Let's tack. Ah, flooding. Excellent. Ooh, artillery shock. Excellent, excellent. San Silvester? Oh! Um... See how did we do that? Boop. Let's deploy one of these. Let's send him to uh, to capture uh, the San Silvester. Hopefully save her. And we will have the Richmond. Try and uh, catch up with... Hey, why is the Dunkirk sailing this way? I did not order you to do this. But yeah, let's sail, sail these guys up to get uh, the weather gauge. We'll keep her uh, anchored. Let's let's send another group to the San Silvestre to help. is damaged not doing too well uh, the San Silvester their 64s are doing rather well still what kind of against all oh, 24 pounders although that is too expected Let's speed things up a bit, since this is taking a while. Let's slow down a bit so that you get less effect on the wind. Oh, you fired your entire load, okay. Are these guys just running away now? Attack. Let's have him sail a bit slower. It seems the San Pedro has dropped some sails. So this is excellent opportunity for us to start uh, just stern raking him. drop some sails I think we don't want to get too close either let's drop you down a bit uh, full speed actually yeah they're just sailing in a straight line alrighty then Like, don't get me wrong, I don't mind, but... 
Let's have him sail this way. Uh, slow down, let the HMS Pembroke pass by first. Okay, full speed ahead. Ah, oh, that's what I was afraid of. Oh, somebody's home. Or left. It was a valiant effort, but in the end it was not meant to be. I do wish these guys would stop running away though. But they're not really running away since they don't have full sails. It's a weird one. Uh, let's give you full sail. Let's go in real close for this uh, next uh, stern rake. There we go. Excellent. You have the weather gauge now, ish. Let's maneuver you in for the stern rake. So you more that way. There we go. San Pedro is not doing too good. Although he is basically allowing us to do this. Ah, now they're uh, starting to maneuver. Keep up with the same uh, tactic. You are selling full speed ahead as well. You'll be late to the party. If you ever make it at all. So we're gonna focus the San Pedro. Uh, we're gonna hold fire. Okay, that's the aiming mode. So we're not going to shoot on the Ar at the Argant Argante yet. Ooh, the rich man is not going to like this. We're going to focus all our power on the San Pedro. So show the San Pedro what the British Navy can uh, provide in terms of services. Let's wait till the Arganto is out of uh, outside of a firing uh, arc. That's the word I was looking for. There we go. Let fly. Beautiful, beautiful. Ooh, that's. That's not the best position. Uh, can we get shots on the Argante? Mm, I doubt it. Okay, let's have uh, Pembroke focus on the Argante. Then Kirk will focus on San Pedro. That's the new order of battle. And we'll have Hitch... HMS Richmond uh, help with uh, the Arrogant. That was not the kind of shooting I was hoping for. Oh, this is the end of the playfield. Or 
Okay. We're gonna cut between the Argent and the... Uh, and San Pedro. I've got no clue what San Pedro is trying, but this is not going to end well for him. Let's lower sails a bit so that we can also get shots on the Arrogant. Ah, you shouldn't have shot at San... Oh, you didn't shoot at San Pedro. Let's have you lower sails as well, so that you will be re reloaded. Uh, you keep on sailing that way. Actually, anchor down. You are in a great position here to lay down some uh, fire. We're gonna keep on sailing. Excellent, excellent. We're in a great position here for both the Pembroke and the uh, Dunkirk. They'll just keep on uh, constantly firing them at them. Let's sail a bit more forward. Let's have you lay anchor. And anchor down. Ah, did I maybe go a bit too far? I'm not sure. I think maybe yes. Oh, the San Pedro is definitely sinking though. Yep, she sunk. Uh, l let's attempt to go for a boarding action of the Arrogant. Let's load grape. Guys might be a problem though. Anchor down. I also have doubts of the arrogant actually going to survive this. Are we going too fast for uh, boarding? We, we can't be. Scratch that, load the ball. I call it too late. Uh, let's lower. We're gonna focus on you. Arrogant is sinking. There is no way the arrogant is going to survive. Ah, she surrendered. GG. Oh, we have to eliminate all the enemies and those little boats can't as enemies. No, we have to... There we go. 
Okay, I'll take this as just placeholder. So, uh, thank you all for watching. I do hope you all enjoyed. Be sure to leave a like, subscribe and all of that. And uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Bye.